Scratch is a game engine designed to teach kids the basics of computer science and programming. It is a surprisingly powerful tool, however, it is often underestimated and its true potential is rarely realized. That's why, in this video, I'm going to be using Scratch to recreate a real, iconic game that has been downloaded and played millions of times, Geometry Dash. Wait, this guy here already did that six years ago. I'm going to be making an original Geometry Dash style game, which I will call Egg Dash. Let's get into it. To save time, I borrowed some code from a 2D Minecraft game I'm working on, and then I drew a handsome little egg who will serve as our player character. Next, we need some physics. I tried finding documentation of Geometry Dash's exact physics system, but nothing I found was easily portable to scratch. Instead, I guesstimated the numbers, and I think my result is pretty close. Basically, you move really fast and gravity is really strong, so you don't stay in the air very long when you jump. Now for some basic graphics. As usual when making my games, I'll make all of the art in Scratch's default vector image editor. At this point, you might notice that unlike in the real Geometry Dash, our egg doesn't die when we collide with a spike. This is due to the fact that I haven't coded it yet. Yay, death. Now we need some levels. Instead of just recreating Geometry Dash's actual levels, like Stereo Madness and Back on Track, I'm going to make some original level designs in the style of Geometry Dash. This should be fun. It turns out that designing Geometry Dash levels is really difficult. The player moves at a speed of 9.3 blocks every second, so with a song that lasts 90 seconds, the finished level will be almost 850 blocks wide, which is much bigger than any game I've ever made before. For example, most levels in my Super Mario Bros. remake are only about 200 blocks wide. Sometimes in Geometry Dash, the player will enter a section of the level that puts them inside a spaceship and gives them the ability to fly around. So I'm going to snap my fingers and this feature will magically appear in the game. Just kidding, this took an hour to code and it looks very bad. Okay, time to finish building the level. It was at this point that I got sick and stopped working on the game for three weeks. Okay, time to finish building the level. I'll also draw a ship for the player, so that when they fly, they don't look like this. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I'll add some fancy particle effects for when the player is running or flying, and other ambient particles in the flying zones. Finally, the last thing I need to implement before I'm finished is a basic menu UI before the game starts, with some buttons and stuff. I'll use this Geometry Dash font generator I found to make some text, and then I'll steal, <coughs> borrow, the original game's play button art. At this point, a whole month after I started, the game is essentially complete. I've got cool art, music, some great particle effects, a main menu, and one complete level. Okay, time to publish the game on Scratch. So, do I think I reached Scratch's full potential? No, definitely not. This game could be so much bigger and better. But I did make something pretty cool, and I'm proud of it. 
Obviously, a lot of credit for this game goes to the original developers of Geometry Dash, Robtop Games. If you want to play the original game, it's available on Steam, and the link to my egg remake is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.